lesson 8.4 and the question we are going to be exploring today is what is the difference between an expression and an equation and we've got some vocabulary that I want to cover today or that we will cover throughout the lesson so give me a second to type that up all right boys and girls our vocabulary words are right over here we've got variable which I hope you are comfortable with at this point in time it's something we've been working for working on for quite some time um, we have expression we have equation, evaluate, and inequality. And through as we go through the day, we are going to cover each one of these, okay? But we're going to start with um, giving you two different things. First one is 8 times n, and then 8 times n is equal to 40, okay? And what I want you to do, I'm going to tell you that one of these is an equation and one of these is an expression and I want you to put a guess as to which one you think is which okay now do you have your choice because right now I'm gonna show you because an expression as we go through is right there and an equation I guess I don't have to make so many cool loops is going to be right here. Now, do you notice the big difference between the two? The big difference between the two boys and girls is this right here. That's the equal sign. Equal sign. Equation. Okay? You cannot have an equation without the equal sign. And that's the big difference. And that's, and that's what you're going to be looking for. Okay? But let's start off with um, our first part of today's lesson is going to be um, solving or evaluating an expression. So let's start with um, 19 less parenthetical a plus 6 where a is equal to 4. And what this means right here boys and girls, we have your expression, but this means that whenever there's an a for this expression, a is equal to 4. So you can pretty much just put, punch in 4 for a. So let's look, it's going to be 19 less, and we're going to plug in 4 for a, 4 plus 6, which is going to be 19 less 10, okay, because 4 plus 6 is 10, which is going to give us 19 less 10 is going to give us 9, okay? So that's how we, that's how we evaluate and solve this expression, okay? We plug in, we plug in whatever that tells us the number, for the value for that variable. Let's look at another problem here. Um, 80 g, 80 divided by g, less 5, where g is equal to 10. Okay, let's see what that looks like now. Okay, first we're going to do is plug in, wherever we see g, we're going to plug in 10. So it's 80 divided by 10 less 5. Now let's simplify the 80 divided by 10, which is going to be 8, and we're going to subtract 5. 8 subtract 5 is going to give us 3. All right. Let's look at one more here. The variable b times 3.2 divided by 0 0.8 where b is equal to 6 okay so let's go about solving that first thing I have to do is take 3.2 divide that by 0 0.8 move my decimal point over 1 move it over 1 now it's right there how many times 8 going to 3 8 that 8 into 32 is 4 multiply that out 32 subtract okay so now I'm gonna plug in b which is 6 times 3.2 divided by 0 0.8 and I've already done that math so it's 6 times 4 and I'm going to e get 24 so that's the answer I'm just going to put this here because I've got the math right there that might confuse us so that's how we solve it okay so I'm going to give you two problems here and that I want you to be working on solving okay the first one Let's draw a line here just so we know. Um, the first one is going to be 
4 divided by 2 times 7 less w, where w is equal to 3. And the second one is a story problem. Give me a second to type that up. And the story problem is, Clea has a part-time job that pays her $10 per hour. Which expression shows how much money she will earn next week if H stands for the number of hours she works? So you have to choose, is it A, is it B, or is it C? So why don't you work this problem and this problem, and when you're done, restart the video, and we'll check and see how you did. All right, fifth graders, let's check and see how you did. First one, we have 4 divided by 2. Um, that is a multiplication symbol. I'm sorry, that's not a very good symbol there. Times um, 7 less w, where w is equal to 3. So let's start working here. We've got um, 4 divided by 2 times 7 less, and w is 3, so let's plug that in. And that's going to be 4 divided by 2 is 2 times um, 7 less 3 is 4. 2 times 4, so our answer is 8. Hopefully you got 8 for that one. The next one is, Kalia has a part-time job that pays her $10 per hour. Which expression shows how much money she will earn next week if H stands for the number of hours she works? Okay, so what we have to figure out, we have to figure out... Um, how much she's going to earn an hour. So it's going to be $10, and we're going to multiply that, okay, because we're going to multiply it because that's what she earns per hour. So this one, the question is, where does she get the 7? Where does that 7 come from? I have no idea as I read, as I read through this where that 7 comes from. So we can probably, we can get rid of this one right away, okay, because we have no idea if she's going to work 7 hours or... Okay, and that being said, we can get rid of this one too because it's not an addition. You're not going to take, well, I work seven hours, so I'm going to add $10 for 17. No, it's set for every hour you work, you get $10. So the correct answer, boys and girls, is going to be B, $10 times H. All right, so we've looked at e expressions on this video. Um, next video, we're going to look at um, equations and evaluating equations for a given number.